Hey, this is King David, David Live Music, and we're starting a new thing called the Daily Dose. And the Daily Dose is going to give you the answers to your music production questions in two, three minutes or less, okay? So many people write in and ask questions, and we don't get a chance to answer them all. So what we do is invite them down to FruityLoopsUniversity.com or BeatClass.com to become a member so they can get advice but also show the world uh, their music, sell music, and also take live lessons. So what we're going to do is go to our folder and look at one of the questions. All right, so here's one. It says, uh, DNG Music, can you please send me the Kick Punch plugin on and the Knockout Kick? I need them okay cool so what that means is that some people don't understand that you can create your own plugin all right so I'm gonna show you how to create your own plugin right now all right so they're asking me to send the kick punch plugin which is nothing but a seven band EQ so here's what we're gonna do pull up the seven band EQ okay pull up a kick and a kick all right there goes one so I'm gonna drag that and bring that into um, the step sequencer okay now I'm gonna put that seven band EQ I'm gonna put that drum through effects number one and then let's put up another seven band EQ because the first one I put on the master and not on the right place okay so let's go back to the master and delete or select none alright now here's what we're gonna do he wants to get the kick punch plug-in it's really not a plug-in uh, what it is is the regular seven band fruity band fruity seven band EQ that I've adjusted so that it has more punch and anybody can do that you can do that with any of your plugins okay so if you ever see me go and choose kick punch or kick punch 2 this is a plugin that I created so I'm gonna show you how to create one right now alright so we can hear that the kick is working and that already has a lot of punch but we're gonna punch it up just a little bit more okay so here's how we're gonna do that we're gonna go to the actual plugin okay left click on it so that it becomes visible and you'll notice you have all zeros now EQ works by changing the frequency of different bands sound bands right you can think of it like rings like rings around Saturn and different uh, frequencies will affect the timbre of the instrument timbre is the quality of the sound okay so if we want to give it more punch the place to go to give it more punch is the 250 Hertz how do I know that um, just studying music and you can also do it too alright so let's give it a little bit more punch we're gonna raise it up by two decibels 2.2 is good now automatically you'll hear a difference now let's go ahead and listen to the difference let's make it really really drastic okay and here's what I'll do I'll go ahead and put in a kick almost every beat so that we can just go ahead and listen to it over and over alright you got it alright now I'm gonna put the sound in your ear so you can hear the difference up close and personal alright you ready let's give it some more punch you hear it punch Let's take out the punch. Hear how it gets more subdued? Alright. So, once I get the amount of punch that I want, I am done. I go here, slide down to save preset as, left, and I'll call this one kick punch three. Hit enter. Now, anytime that I want to use that setting, I have it in my library by going down to presets and I'll see it's key, kick punch 3 is right there okay it's a quick daily dose from beatclass.com the leaders the number one in professional music production training FL studio training the best around the world uh, come to beatclass.com get started today learn how to be a real music producer King David one love